everybody, welcome back to Yum Japan and today we are out here in Roppongi. Yes, we are a few minutes away from Roppongi Crossing and why are we here today? It's because in Japan summers are usually really really hot and like the fatigue that you endure because of it is called Natsubate. One of the best remedies for Natsubate here in Japan for this extremely hot summer humid heat is to eat some delicious unagi eels. And what is the best place to go to for eels out here in like the Roppongi area? Well, you actually want to find something that's cheap and delicious and I think we've got the perfect place for you. And that is? Manzen. It's a very small shop but they're very friendly. It's very nice. Anyways, let's go. I'm so hungry and so hot. So let's go. Now the good thing about this shop is it's pretty cheap for a unagi restaurant. The usual price for unagi is what goes around for like what like four thousand, three thousand. It can go yen? like to four thousand, yeah. five thousand. But here you can get it for less than one thousand yen. Cha -ching! Now I'm getting pretty hungry. So which one are you gonna get from here? I think I'm going to get the unadon. One second before we continue ordering, here are five ways to eat unagi eel. First off, we have the unadon, which is unagi glazed with tare, a sweet thick soy sauce on top of a bowl of rice. There's also unaju. It's the same as unadon, but instead of a bowl, you eat it in a rectangle-shaped lacquer box. One of my personal favorites, hitsumabushi, which is mostly enjoyed in Nagoya. You get a ton of unagi on top of rice, and you get to eat it three different ways, on its own, with green onion and seaweed, or topped with a hot broth. Then you have the nigiri version, which is basically a sushi. And finally, shirayaki, where the eel is grilled without any tare. Manzen has a simple Japanese menu. They have a 980 yen udadon, a 1980 yen unaju, and finally they have a 2980 yen tokusen unaju, which is higher quality and has a lot more eel. You can also order extras like unagi liver soup and a hitsumabushi set for only 500 yen extra. Okay, let's order. Yeah. So, you can unadon to tokusen unaju Let's have this one. Honki no kibasu to. Yeah. And then we have the hitsumabushi setto. Hitsumabushi, it's amazing. And I, uh, I want to try that, yeah. You want to try it, right? Yeah. So the hitsumabushi setto. Hitotsu. Arigatouzaimasu. So now that we've placed our order, let's go to the kitchen and check out how they make the eel. Let's go do it. The eels come from Yamada Suisan, a company in Kagoshima Prefecture, southeast of Japan. They are famous for being the only organic eel farm in Japan. The chef prefers the eels kabeaki style, meaning it's glazed with tara sauce before being broiled on a charcoal grill. That's yours, I believe. It looks like here you go. Wow, look wow. at that. It's like a whole eel. It's more than one eel actually on this. It has gold flakes on the top too. <laughs> and I have the Unadon set here. Ooh. That also looks good. He has more eel than me though. On my plate, we have like one full eel and a half. We have some gold flakes on the top. And then what kind of sauce is covered on the top? So it's tare, which is basically tare. like a really sweet, thick soy sauce. And, and on then my, yours, what yeah, do you on have? my plate, I got a soup. So what I ordered, the eel liver here, and also got the unadon here. When you eat unagi, you have this like small, colorful bottle of sancho, which is like already grinded. Here you actually grind the sancho yourself. Sancho is actually a Japanese spice. So is it kind of like a sour pepperish? -y? Actually, so I, I read somewhere on the internet oh that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that the spice comes from a tree that's actually from the same family as like lemons and like it's a citrus. Oh, so it's kind of like so it's kind of citrusy and it's also a little bit spicy. Well then, you know, as they always say, itadakimasu. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Wow, so already I could tell here, it's very, very, very soft and it comes off so easily. Yeah. So, let's try it on its own. Oh. <laughs> that is delicious. But don't eat it all because you also have like these little things here if you've never had pizza and cheese. Please explain because to be honest, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. So, you have okay. this spoon here. <clears throat> spoon. To take the rice and unagi to put inside this bowl and you can eat it three different ways. You can eat it on its own or okay. with some of the greens that you have here. So you have like some nori, which is some seaweed and some green onions. They also give you like some hot soup so you can do like ochazuke on it. So uh. you basically eat the three different ways and then you finish it the way you like it. All right, so here it goes. I think it definitely adds more flavor, obviously, like the nori and the seaweed, but the texture that it adds to it, yeah, definitely. Like a better. little bit of bite to it, right? I think I like this. I like a little hint of wasabi that threw in there. But you got another Delicious. way to try it. And this is with the... Hot soup, so it, it's what soup. you call in Japanese ochazuke. Ochazuke, so... Like so. With hot soup in it. Okay, here we go. So, let's try it. This really brings out the flavor of like the sauce. Yeah. The tar that they had it. Right. It kind of pulls out a little bit more 
of like the sweetness to it. It's very, very, very savory. Unagi is actually very popular in Japan during the summertime. Why is that? So the reason why is actually that unagi is filled with like omega-8 oils. So it's perfect when it's really hot and really humid outside and your body is tired. This helps your stamina. But actually there's another reason to it because every year in Japan there's the doyo no shinohi, which okay. is the day of the ox, which is actually the day where it's like the hottest in Japan. This, this year. year it's the 25th of July, right? Yeah. So on the day of the ox, back in the Edo period, mm -hmm. what they would do is to bring good luck, they would eat some foods that are black, so you have like black beans, eggplants, mm -hmm. but okay. unagi no kabayaki also, it's kind of black, so that's why they would eat it, to bring them good luck. So if you guys don't mind, we're going to go ahead and finish up our unagi here and get our grub on. So if you'd like to see more yummy content like this in the future, don't hesitate to subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know what you think. Hit that bell to get notifications anytime we upload a new video. See you next time. Cheers! Cheers.